draws a perfect parabola. All it is is the piece of twine, thread or string. I'm using twine that's about three feet long tied on to that. That's a broom handle but you need some cylindrical like curtain rod or broom handle or something that the twine can slide on. And then right above the word Lowe's you see a small pin. It's called the string and pin method. You can also use a nail or whatever. Okay and I'm going to hold the bar steady with my foot here. So it's pretty simple. Just take your pencil or pen, get it all lined up like you see. Just hold it out like this. Slide this forward as it moves. Keep the string taut and slide this evenly. So you get to the center just like that. That draws a perfect parabola. Now you just have to do the other half of the parabola. Okay, and there it is. Now I just got to cut it out. And then I can use that as the mold or the stencil for all the other ones. So you just take this rib, make a bunch of them, that's a perfect parabola. Well, again with the focal point being about four and a half inches out. So you can make this focal point like in farther, out farther, it's your choice where you want to put it when you do these parabolas. The main thing is just to keep the string taut, slide it along, and make sure the bar doesn't move. Also hang on to these. These are good for a lot of things, but that'll give you your convex parabolic line versus a concave line. Now I'm just going to go ahead and trace a whole bunch of these using this original one as like the stencil. I'm going to trace and cut out a whole bunch of these ribs. Okay, the fins are done now, so those are the fins I'm going to use for the collector. Just need a way to frame them. So I'm going to frame them inside of this box, but what we'll do is cut the vast majority of the box away just leave the bottom eight inches of the box so that line eight inches from that line to the bottom of the box I'm gonna cut that all the way around and that'll make a nice strong frame for those fins the box by the way is 18 by 18 the fins are 18 inches long because they came from a similar box so they'll fit right in there I'll glue them in and then we'll finish up by putting the aluminum foil or the mylar on the collector okay put the fins in that's what it'll look like the next step is securing them okay here it is almost done so just to give you a quick uh, recap here, I'm using the large box from Home Depot, that's the 18 by 18 by 24 but I cut off the top 16 inches, just left the bottom 8 there, so it's just a box cut down to a height of 8 inches. I got the 7.5 inch ribs in there, there is 8 of them with the 9 spacers, all done with cardboard. You can see that right there. There's 12 little pieces of cardboard to make each one of those spacers all glued together in a row so it makes that extremely sturdy but as sturdy as cardboard can be. All I'm going to do now is cut down the edges, trim it up on the edges to make it look nicer, add the reflective material and that's it. I made the entire project with just two of those Home Depot boxes, actually about one and a half, that's what's left. Hey, just wanted to show this quick experiment with this bottle. It's getting so hot in the collector that in just a couple minutes this bottle is warping. You can visibly see it warping on the side right there.
out of the sun, in the sun, that's the focal point right there, all the way up and down here.